TGTV and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my new front room. Once again, this video is brought to you with Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the perfect place to build a beautiful website and run your business. As always, make sure you're hitting that link below if you ever thought of building a website because you'll save some cash when you do. So hit the link, click the bookmark, and make sure you save the code TGTV because you'll save some cash. So Squarespace is a perfect place to build a website because they have so many tools that make building a website super simple, super efficient, and super effective. You've got SEO tools, you've got mobile optimized websites, you've got easy subscription models to build into your website, like Crep Chief Notify. You can build beautiful email campaigns, and you can even start with a range of amazing templates off the bat. So make sure you hit that link right there below. Save some cash, get building, keep in touch with what you're building. And let's head over to Quicksilver to see my brother, his defender, and listen to his new exhaust. Absolutely peeing it down. My Tesla's here, sorry about that. But more importantly, James is here. And I'm gonna have to get wet to show you this shot. Your defender is here, we're gonna hear then. So it's not gonna be one of these usual churn videos where we turn up and we look at the exhaust and we don't actually fit it. The exhaust is already fitted and we're gonna Good hear planning, it. Actually, Talk way. me through it then. What's so, going on? You had a V8 defender. I had the V8 110 defender. Yep. From factory, the matte black Carpathian edition it's called. Um, and obviously that's got the same engine as the SVR in it, supercharged five litre. Yeah. Obviously it's got the V8 noise. I did enjoy the noise. Um, yep. And I kept that car best part of the year and then I sold it. Yep. Really bad on fuel, blah, blah, blah. As you know from the previous video, this is my new Apache Defender, slightly yep. different, and it's a diesel. And diesel. Do you know what? It obviously has no noise. I didn't buy it thinking it would have noise. But I was away in Greece a few weeks ago, and an Audi rumbled past me, and I looked over the balcony and thought, oh, so, you know, as you do if you're at Enterprise, RSQ8, and it wasn't. It was a diesel. And I know, obviously, Bentley, Audi, and loads of companies have put something to make diesel sound good in them. And I was like, do you know what? That's got me. That turned my head, it sounded good, but it didn't look stupid. And before I would have said, not so sure. Anyway, long story cut short, yep, I was like, it. I need to make this diesel sound good. I want to, and also I think the back end looks unfinished. And I know when I bought the car that I could have spent the exhaust, and I wanted the car so quickly, I didn't, and I regretted it. So anyway, yep. long story cut short, fast forward to today, we're here at Quicksilver, and I've gone for it. You've gone for it, so your exhaust is, it's on. Tippy tips around here. Can I say something? Am I allowed, or am I talking too much? No, no, you're not talking enough. Keep shouting. You're all good, there's the tips, good. lovely stuff. No, shouting is fantastic. No, we've got, we've got loud rain, so yeah, you'll need to yell. So, do you know one thing I would say? The yep. tips on the V8, they point at the floor on my V8. Yeah. It's not why I wasn't broken, that's what they do from factory. Very loud. This, to me, looks right on the back end, and I don't want people, I'm not trying to say this is a V8 in disguise, I'm not trying to knock four quad tips on and make it look something it's not. Yeah. I want it to look how it should do, especially with the Apache kit, I think it was lacking something at the back end where it could have looked a bit more aggressive. Yep. But not only that, we've got a great look and a great sound. So what more could you want, really? What more could you want? Are you happy, Tom? I am. I, I haven't even heard it yet, but I'm excited. Yeah, you haven't heard it yet. We're going to get this, uh, an, a very natural reaction. We've got Ollie and Nat hanging around over there. We're going to get technical in a sec because we have a demo of the box over here. We've also got a cautionary tale as well because there are some of these systems out here. There are some very well-known companies uh, are doing some systems for their let's say some resto mods. I'm not gonna point any fingers, but there is a lot of um, nonsense from the Far East coming over. But this is, see, I can say this stuff, you guys can't. We're, we've gotta be a bit more diplomatic. Yeah, I'm not very diplomatic on this channel, but it's there is a lot of- Professional and unprofessional, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's a lot of nonsense coming over from the Far East. That's not to say everything from the Far East is nonsense, but this is not nonsense, and this is actually made in Germany. So we're gonna get into this, because this is actually really, really interesting. However, I did want to touch on this Ford GT in here. You guys have had a lot of Ford GTs, through recently. You seem to be the, the Ford GT exhaust epicenter of Europe at the moment by the looks of it. I'm trying to make it that way. You've got a new one in here every time. Last time when James dropped the car off, he was sending me pictures of a full carbon one in here and I thought, oh, have you wrapped it? But no, it's another one, so that's chaos. Yeah, two more next Is it on there? Hell. Good heavens. Uh, we're, we're, the owner's not going to be too happy if we start cold starting it and revving it for a, a couple of morons picking this up a diesel Defender. Yes, it's the OPF version and it sounds like from factory, but now very good. And one of the exhaust manufacturer that makes these, I can say it, you can't. The exhaust are blowing and that's why you're doing the most of them. Uh, that is correct. Yes, <laughs> there was a, there was Wow. I, 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 lo I love that. I love it. So you've said it now, so I don't have to have an awkward. Yeah. Under the bus. Love yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, factory exhaust blow their baffles. Um, wow. There is no R&D budget left, I believe, for a exhaust that solves that issue. OPF car is particularly bad for it. We wow. sort that out with some straight pipes. Uh, Tim's now done, what, four or 5,000 miles and he's yeah. kicking the hell out of Oh, did Shmi come here with his? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shmi, yeah. We took that other one right off and chucked it in the bin and uh, he's got one of these as well. <laughs> Excellent, there we go then. So, um, yeah, well done Ford on that. Why have you got a video of that if you, if you want it? You know? 
Yeah, I, yeah, they've probably seen it on Shmi's channel. I don't, I don't know if there's any overlap. My audience watch Shmi, I think they do. Shmi's a good lad. He is a good lad. He is a good lad. He's the king of churns. Like. He churns. Oh, churns. <laughs> He's king churner. Anyway, back, the back, churner. Back, back to the exhaust yeah. table. Yes, the exhaust table. Can, Ollie's been on the channel before. Those observant ones amongst you will recognise him from my Aston Martin Vantage AMR video Slightly I did. Slightly fatter, hairier, bit more beardy now, but fundamentally... I mean, they've been watching better. me for six years and uh, my decline, so um, yeah, <laughs> you've got free reign to do whatever you want. You're not going to offend anyone. Yeah, We've got Nat here as well. Nat's going to chime in if anyone forgets anything. Uh, well, also, that's Tom, your job, by the way, yeah. You had your, you're paying attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mr. Martin, the, the legendary Turbo S video in the tunnel of us losing our minds was, of course, a quick silver exhaust on the Turbo S as well. That was a good video. Yes. Still, I, like I think that. that's still the best video ever. I don't it's done half a million views. Half a million people have spent 15 minutes watching that. Flipping the shades up and down. <laughs> us just screaming. <laughs> still getting calls about it today. And that, do you? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. Still getting calls about it, you see? The power of the internet. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, that's why they don't want British and motorists in France. And not a marketing scheme, three idiots screaming in a Turbo S. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Yeah, we flip up shades. It's on the yeah. video now. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, good. Okay, good. Let's then talk about this. We, the tips are fairly self-explanatory. They look yeah. amazing. However, what's going on here? What is this? All right, so what we've got here is a Sound Architect speaker. This is essentially, this, is, this section of it here from this TIG weld here to there is a section we buy in from Abus Batcher. Um, the distinction there is that that is the same speaker you would find in any diesel sound generator equipped Audi, Bentayga, that wow. kind of stuff. So it's an OEM quality speaker and then we tune all the length of pipe to get the best noise out of it. So this, this is actually tuned with resonance in mind to enhance bass. Noise comes out of that one, diesel fumes come out of that one. So ah. what you really hear really does come out the exhaust tip. Um, oh, wow. Ah. I like that. He likes See, that. I'm he a happy customer down. now, aren't I? Yeah, I feel really comfortable here. I feel really welcome. And I just, I, do you know what, Tom? I felt like I was back at school. <laughs> you, literally, you are literally sat there like you a child. You told me to raise my hand if I had a question. No, you don't. You just shout. Um, I also want to preface as well. This is what a busy business looks like. Um, so this is a shipment that's going off abroad. Uh, these guys are absolutely rampacked. You need another unit. Well, we got that one. We're spilling out of that one. And we're spilling out of this one. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, we do need another one quick. Well done. Love to see it. Well deserved. So that's what's in the car. Should we listen to it? I Just think. Just one quick thing I want yeah, to touch on. on. So with the noise as well. Obviously, um, my partner drives the car, but you were saying that is this what this does? I don't know. But what I can I can turn it on and off the noise. Yeah. So it snaps into your car's CAN bus system. So this is a control module that control. links with this speaker. It's picking up your gear, throttle, braking, engine load, and then it's playing a synthesized petrol note that we sampled off a of V8 Vantage out of this in real time. But Chaos! Because it links with the CAN bus, double tap the battery start stop, bang and it goes off. Oh wow. I mean that, this is what I mean, I did, when I like poo pooed it or thought I'm not so sure, I didn't appreciate that it was all tuned in with like the speed you'll go or the gear and everything so that actually makes a, re a really, it's very real isn't it, other than the fact it's a diesel engine, it's actually a real experience. So you can't just play, it's, it's better than just playing YouTube of a, of a Crow GT whilst driving around in your smart car, <laughs> through the windows. <laughs> I have to go there now, I can't even drive my own, it's not insured. Funny, isn't it, well, everyone? Twin, isn't it funny? Yeah. Pay your twin brother to play the trumpet. In the <laughs> Thousands of pounds of interest a month and I can't even drive it. Cheers, everyone. Okay, fine. Should we... Yeah, let's hear it. Let's yeah, hear it. Let, I, think, let's, I think that's what everyone's waiting for. I, mean, I think it is, yeah. I don't know if there's any other points to cover on this. Uh, no, other than that, it's bolt on, bolt off. Like the yes. other thing with these other competitor ones are available. You generally have to weld them in yourself. They last about a year and they sound like arse. Not the perfect. Case with this. Bolt it on, unbolt yeah. it if you don't want it. Perfect. And do you know what, what? Can I just say as well? The tips, I'm always like an OEM man. I like the OEM look. But we were just saying that on the V8 um, that I formerly had, the tips face the floor yeah, on the no petrol. Side, yeah. It looks like a diesel tip that, the you know, cash. angle. So actually having the tip that Land Rover should have done, in my eyes, cash. is unreal. It looks good. And I actually said I prefer the fact that you were saying that obviously it's not a quad exit. I actually prefer the fact it's a dual exit on one side because I'm not trying to make this look like a V8 replica. Yeah. Which I think is important if you like the OEM look. Yeah, no, it's something I, different, I, isn't I it? agree. Don't try to make it the best. It's obviously not the V8. Yeah, don't try and make it. It's my one of one, yeah. one Tiffany blue. You seen it, Ollie? I do see you like one it? one Tiffany. I do like it. Yeah, I like it. Mate. Let me check the mic. Do he sends me a photo it? of the interior of his okay. car every single day. One sec. Testing. Nat, do you like the Tiffany blue? Love it, Mum. Oh, perfect. Excellent. And just, just before, if, if they haven't got annoyed yet, do you do exhaust for Teslas? Uh, 
kind of could do. It's the same technology, whether we want to or not. I don't know. Good yeah. answer. I mean, I have a Tesla, and I couldn't think of anything worse. So that's something well, that's the right answer. Then. Yeah, I like the fact that it's silent. Anyway, right. Um, I'm going to hang around at the back then. Do you want yeah, to let's up and we can get your reaction. Yeah, let's get reaction. Oh, reaction. Yeah, reaction. Tom, don't yeah. get my face. I'll give you an allergic reaction in a minute, mate. <laughs> oh, why is it raining here? I need to escape. You know, very much. People are gonna have a go at my. Yeah, I know. They're gonna have a go at my tan as well, aren't they? Okay, three, two, one. Oh, that's good. Oh yes. Oh hell. What? Rumble in the jungle, dear boy. And they're proper sort of shaking like a V8 as well. What is going? That's actually mad. Found James, me. reaction. <laughs> I'm not sure that's what we really wanted. Well, mate, I like it. What am I supposed to do? Kiss it? I don't know. Mate, I love it. That sounds unreal. Now, this is just idle. Ollie, I love it. It's good. Ribbit. Woo! Come on! That is good. That is actually mental. Give us a bit more beans, Ollie. Give us a bit more beans. Give me You can also hear the turbos at the front of the car as well. Yeah, what's that about? Let's get some information on that. Isn't that good? We give it the noise to match the appearance of the car. There we go. Yeah, and now it finally matches it, because before it was a bit a bit flimsy sounding, yeah. Okay, I'm coming around. I'm coming around. Apache. Well, you should hear it. Maybe we can do one from the back as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what she said. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> If only really life know. was easy as the button that made her happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? I'm real. Yeah. It's gone. It's gone. Normal diesel, no? Oh, it's still running. Yeah, I thought you just turned the engine off. Around. Chaos. Oh, I've always... Tom, I yeah. Silent. What? Oh. oh. Hey. Only oh. your hell. Oh. Your oh. hell. Oh. <laughs> oh. <That's laughs> <it>. <laughs> That's actually unreal. Okay, well done. That's sick. Do you like it? It's yeah, yeah, I, I did. To... I was so dubious. Wait, Who's telling mum? You or me? Uh, you can call her, James. It's your turn. Uh, I'll rev it to her. Do you think she want that? 1 a.m. I'm going to ring her that. Always. 1 a.m. Ring her. Mum, listen to the V8 noise of my defender of Hatchy. <laughs> <laughs> right then, you lot. That's about all we've got time for. That's enough revving. That's enough shouting. A massive thank you to the guys at Quicksilver. For some reason, they're hidden over there. Uh, thank you though guys, make sure you're following the guys on social media, you probably already are, they're absolutely enormous, you've seen them everywhere already before, um, but if you do have something that's a little bit boring, um, you don't just have to have a supercar to get an exhaust from these guys and to make it that little bit better. So if you've got something like a diesel, make sure you give them a shout, and if they don't have something for it, they can make it, because these guys can pretty much do whatever you want. They are the sound architects. <laughs> <laughs> I like as, it, as you've seen. Thank you very much for watching anyway, and um, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, lots more content to come soon. I don't know what's next. Um, Nor do I, mate. Channel's a mess at the moment. Thank you very much, everyone. Ciao. <laughs>